Hi, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do more of a detailed view of the Goya briefcase that I got from my Paris trip that I included in my haul a couple of weeks ago. So it comes in the yellow dust bag as you saw. It didn't come with a box though. I don't know if they made boxes that big, but it would have been nice, although I'm not sure I could have carried it home with me. So this is the front of the briefcase, and you can tell because there's no feet on it. And then here's the back. You can see that there's the metal feet because this is how you would lay it down. So this is a rolled leather handle. There are these two buttons here. So you open it by sliding them both out and you can see these both come off. Here's the receipt. I bought it in Paris at the Rue Saint Honoré. And this is called the Port Document Manoir. It was 3,700 euro. So the interior is the same Goyard yellow. Here's the clochette with the key. When you're opening it, you want to be careful that you secure it because these leather hinges may, may make the briefcase just close automatically. And if your hands are still in here, it could get, it could get caught. So on the front, it comes with this kind of organizer. This is one big pocket. There's three pen holders. This is like a business card slot and then these two are larger divided slots for maybe folded paper or brochures and then this pocket is held by a leather strap here and it's done by kind of like a leather hook here so you just pull it down put the hook inside the strap and the the company logo is also embossed here as you can see So inside there's the Goyard tag and it has the initials of the person who made it and it has the date and unique number on it. So if you're wondering about some of the dimension sizes of the interior. So this pocket is approximately 15 inch, maybe minus half inch for the gussets on the side. And just for comparison, this is a 13 inch MacBook Pro Retina. So this will easily fit inside. So there's a MacBook 13 inch inside, it easily fits. Honestly, if I was gonna use this with a MacBook, I'd probably have another light protector in there just because the interior is lined with cloth and It'll probably get scratched up pretty easily if I carry a heavy laptop. But it's really nice that it does fit. There's still some wiggle room, so I think you could actually fit a 15 inch laptop in here. I wanted to show you a little bit more detail on the metal hardware. So here is where it says Go Yacht Paris. And if you compare this to the Louis Vuitton trunks, this is much more square and thinner. The Louis Vuitton trunk does kind of look like an elephant's head. And then here's the arm with the hinge. This is the button that opens up the lock. So it engages it. And then these were the two metal pieces that help hold the briefcase of shape. And then this is the handle with four rivets. So as you can see here, the seam is on top. So you can kind of feel it. It's, it's not an issue for me. You can see how they tried to line up the pattern between both pieces on top, but they didn't do that on the bottom. And then on the bottom, I haven't removed the plastic from the bottom feet yet, and then you can see the metal hinges. But you can tell that here it doesn't line up, and I'm sure the thought is 
you'd have to change the size of the briefcase to make these line up but if this is going to be on the bottom no one's ever really going to see it so it makes sense that they made sure to line up the top as well as the sides are pretty good so something i did notice though is on the sides they're a little crooked even though the top and the sides sides line up this is a little bit more severe. You can see the orange is kind of cropped off here. But as you go towards the top, you can start seeing the black peek through. The clochette came in a plastic bag and it has the logo stamped on the leather as well. And has a set of two keys, which actually have a G on them, which is interesting. So you can see the G here. The measurements for the overall briefcase is about 17 and a half wide. It's about two and three quarters deep. And then the height is 13 inches. And just to give you a little size comparison, this is the Pouchette Voyage MM. It'll fit inside length and width wise, but unfortunately it won't close. So it's not deep enough because even though it was two and three quarters, you have to account for the wood that makes the extra thickness so you get less interior volume. So now I'm trying it on to give you some context of how the briefcase looks like. Here I'm styling it with a blazer. This is from Burberry Persum. I added the clochette here and I actually took the black luggage tag from my key ball to put it on the other side. I thought it kind of looks nice. Here's a little bit closer view. And here I'm just wearing a glove. These are by Bottega Veneta. And the shoes I'm wearing are by Louis Vuitton. So I think for a fall or winter look, the glove works well with the briefcase. Here's a lighter look. Um, I took my jacket off, so it's just a white dress shirt. Those are Louis Vuitton belts and just some blue suede loafers. Those are by Acne Studio. And then here's the inside again just to let you see kind of a full view of it. And the last look is some gray Glen plaid wool pants and I'm pairing those with my Coco Brown Gucci Princetown fur slippers. So that's my video. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, let me know.